Welcome to our second National American Muslim Policy Conference. Pitting minority communities against each other is a tale as old as time. Wadea Al-Fayumi is an example of what is happening in this nation, of what is allowed at the highest levels in this government. Uh, so instead of understanding Islam, and by extension, the world's 1.8 billion Muslims, as a complex global religion, Islam is maliciously flattened and oversimplified into whatever the latest non-state militia or insurgency group that has arisen in a Muslim-majority country that threatens Western hegemony in those locations. You know, you can look up the Office of the Director of National Intelligence on the State Department website, Foreign Terrorist Organization. 98% is Muslim. So it sure does look like the United States is singling out Islam. It is important for us not only to talk about right reports and talk about numbers, but humanizing the people that we serve. And you reach the hearts of the people, no matter how hard these uh, hearts are. How do we make sure our public officials understand us and more look like us? And how do we make sure our data and our stories drive equity and action? Policy is people. And so what values do they bring to their decision making? That means you need values-based representation, not just representation. We're in a moment where we need diverse voices. We need you to be uh, experts in policy, and we need you to diversify the rooms where decisions are made that directly impact us and our communities locally and abroad. Muslims in general are inspired by their faith to, to do good um, for themselves, for the community, and for others. What we are seeing in the response to this uh, in the crackdown on college campuses, in the attempts to legislate what people can and cannot say. And if this carries through, if these laws pass, if these crackdowns succeed, the Muslim voice will not be the last voice that these crackdowns come for. The Palestinian cause will not be the last cause that they come for. And so I actually, you know, look at all of you and I see you as standing really on the front lines of American freedom and American democracy. We need to clearly and unambiguously condemn uh, any form of Islamophobia or actual anti-Semitism, which is not uh, conflated with the criticism of Netanyahu. We can't disconnect that work from a broader need in our country for an anti-war movement that encourages our country to divest from killing and invest in life. Please don't give up your, your power. Do not give up your right to vote. You should vote. Do whatever you have to do to make your voice heard in this election.